My son started a new job as a data engineer. The other day, he called me in the middle of the afternoon a little panicked, and he never really calls. His downstream users were not very happy. The problem, they weren't getting the data they needed for sensitive reports. But little did they know that the issue was not with his team, but it was coming from the upstream system. Does this sound familiar to you? I have heard similar stories many, many times. One way to solve this issue is to use data contracts. So what is a data contract? It's an agreement between a data producer and one or many data consumers. And they share a data contract. So the data contract, why we do that? It's because we want better documentation, we want better data quality, and we want better SLAs. And why is the ultimate goal of that is to really lower the cost of AI. You don't have to retrain your models. You get better data in your system, so you don't have the garbage in, garbage out. To do that, we follow a standard called Open Data Contract Standard. And it is a standard backed by the Linux Foundation. It is composed of eight sections. Demographics, which is really your name, uh, version, uh, detailed information about your data contract. Then you've got your data set and schema representing the what the data is about associated to your data quality rules. You've got the pricing section, which currently is experimental, but if you want to share your data within your organization or outside your organization, you can specify rules. You've got stakeholders where you see how the contract was being evolved by the different people involved in the creation and maintenance of the contract. You've got roles for security access service level agreement, and custom property for future reference and extensions. So coming back to my son, how this would have helped his problem by having better data quality rules and better SLAs, he would have prevented the issues and given his customers the data they expected. And I hopefully, next time he calls me, it's just to say, hello, papa. Thanks for watching. Before you leave, please remember to hit like and subscribe.